Imagine waking up to the sound of your alarm, unmotivated and tired. Then, in a hurry, started to prepare for the day, quickly grabbed some coffee, then dashed out of the house rushing to reach your workplace before it's too late. And once you arrive, you start working on things you don't really care about. Eight hours later, you're back at home, drained and exhausted. Flopping onto your couch, watching TV, and before you know it, it's time for bed, and the cycle starts all over again. Sound familiar? Many of us live this exact reality every single day, where we might start to feel like a character in a movie that's stuck on repeat with nothing exciting to look forward to. So then you might start asking yourself, is this how I'm going to spend the rest of my life? This state of unpurposeful living is not uncommon in our day and age, especially with all the types of distractions that lure us even deeper into this unconscious existence. But what if there was a way to break free from this cycle and stop wasting our limited time? The answer, my friends, lies in intentional living, a state in which we make conscious choices about our lives, and this approach stems from our self-awareness. When we truly know ourselves, we can align our actions with our authentic identity. In this video, we'll be exploring what the different studies and schools of thought recommended in order to live life intentionally and transform our life into a purposeful and fulfilling journey. Lao Tzu, the ancient Chinese philosopher said, Knowing others is wisdom. Knowing yourself is enlightenment. In order to start living intentionally, we need to reconnect with ourselves to understand who we are and what we want from life. Every day, we are exposed to a flood of information. The news we read, the movies we watch, and the social media platforms we engage with. And alongside this, we also live within societal structures, which have their own expectations and norms as well. All these aspects can obscure our sense of identity, overshadowing our unique personalities and values, and push us further from our true selves. In a 2021 study, it was found that students who took actions in line with their values experienced less stress and increased overall well-being, signifying the importance of aligning our choices with our personal values and identity. And that's why it's crucial for us to take the time to understand our true selves. What are our values? What do we like and dislike? A good first step is identifying what truly matters to us. Think about the perfect day you'd want to live, and what kind of life you aspire to lead. This self-reflection may reveal that some only need to make minor adjustments to their current path, while others may need to make a significant change in order to align with who they really are. There are some useful habits that can help us with this exploration, like keeping a journal where we can record our thoughts during this process. Also, meditation can be a great way to develop mindfulness. Reflecting on these aspects can help bring clarity and deeper insights into our true identity, beyond the labels we are usually identified by. Furthermore, it's important to remember that our identity and desires evolve over time. Buddhism emphasized this very idea with the concept of samsara, suggesting that everything, including us, is in a constant state of flux. Therefore, continuous self-awareness will allow us to adapt to these changes effectively. He who has a why to live for can bear almost any how. In this quote, Friedrich Nietzsche argues that once we know who we are and what we want from life, we have a purpose or a meaning for living, which will guide our actions, giving us a sense of direction. Having self-awareness and identifying your desires is a powerful first step, but it's the action that brings those desires to life. So start to reflect on your routines and habits. You may discover that certain activities don't serve you anymore. For example, you might find that you used to spend hours scrolling through social media without a second thought. But now with a clearer understanding of who you are and what you want, these habits may no longer align. Likewise, you may realize that certain values and traditions, perhaps those inherited from your family, culture, or society don't resonate with your true self. It then becomes necessary to reassess these influences to ensure your actions are congruent with your authentic identity. Seeing life through this new lens will allow you to differentiate between actions that support your values and those that detract from them. 
that will also guide you to utilize your time in the activities and pursuits that genuinely reflect who you are. Now let's think of life as a video game. Usually there's an objective the main character is trying to achieve, and in this scenario, you're the main character, and you get to decide your objectives. But unlike a video game, the results of these actions have a profound impact on your real life. If you're unsure how to begin, you can start by listing down everything you want to accomplish, what you'd like to do, the things you want to possess or the relationships you want to have. Consider the resources you'll need, advise a plan to acquire them, and assign a timeline for each step of your plan. Assigning a timeline will provide you with more clarity and give you a more concrete sense of progress. Ultimately, taking action on your goals doesn't grant you just a sense of control over your life. It also turns you into an active participant in it, as you're no longer passively letting life happen, but purposefully shaping your reality to match your desired outcome. Man is condemned to be free, because once thrown into the world, he is responsible for everything he does. This statement by the philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre places an emphasis on our freedom to choose our path in life and the inherent responsibility that accompanies this choice. It reinforces the notion that we have an active role in shaping our own reality. When we believe in our ability to influence many aspects of our lives, life becomes more responsive and we start to see better results. This shift in perspective will encourage us to take more action and make more conscious decisions. And among these decisions is choosing to be happy. As human beings, our driving motivation is often to seek happiness and evade suffering. However, many of us fall into the trap of postponing happiness for future events or achievements, saying, I'll be happy when I achieve this, or I'll be happy when this happens. This mentality of conditional happiness can prevent us from being fully present, causing us to live in anticipation rather than in the moment. Understanding this, we can see that the choice to be happy doesn't have to be a future event. It can be made now, in the present moment, regardless of our circumstances. It's vital to remember that mere accomplishments or acquisitions won't achieve lasting happiness if our contentment relies solely on them. Real, enduring happiness arises from gratitude of what we currently have, and the joy that we find in our daily lives and the journey toward our goals. This might include appreciating our health, the love and support of family and friends, or even the simple fact of being alive. By recognizing these aspects, we can infuse our present with happiness and contentment. After all, the choice to be happy now can be considered a statement of our commitment to live intentionally and take control of our life.